All right, Shalom. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Racha Hagodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Izar Yah, okay, from the Pittsburgh GMS camp, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Racha Hagodash. Lord willing, this is edifying. All right, so this is basically a. Uh, this is a little lightweight response, pretty much, um, to the Elder Manatha Zagbar, okay, a video that he did, um, which I'm going to come at it, you know, um, uh, from a different angle, okay, basically he was, uh, talking about the calamity of the, um, uh, the election, you know, and, and, and about it being exciting, about it being exciting, okay, and, uh, I just want to kind of, you know, like I said, take it from a different angle, you know, because like he said, you know, um, these people are anxious about uh, which which person is going to be the new leader of, of of America, Babylon the Great. Okay, while well, we're worried about the next judgment that's going to proceed forth, you know, from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So, you know, but while we're looking to that judgment, you know, we have um, we have a certain hope. Now, I only have three scriptures, you know, but we're not looking to men. Okay, and I usually bring out a lot of precepts. Okay, um, going into this, some of the same precepts, I may just go ahead and quote them rather than pull them up. Okay, you know, because these people look, you know, to Esau for their vain help. Okay, they look for their vain help uh, for a nation that cannot save them. Okay, their eyes fail, you know, for looking for this help, man. And, and the nations, okay, you Jakes and you, you Edomites and just, you know, the whole of America, Babylon and Greece, just patiently waiting to see, you know, who's going to, uh, be the new president, okay? Well, either way, we want judgment to come forth because we have a faith, not in man, that man's going to change what's coming to America, Babylon the Great, but that Yahweh is going to protect us from the in, impending judgment that's going to come to this place, all right? So let's just get a precept, okay? So I'm going to start here. The book of Psalms 60 and 11 says, uh, okay, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man, okay? So we ask you how about Shimei Awashai to give us help from trouble because the help of man is vain, okay? Like I just quoted, okay? You're looking, you looking, your eyes are going to fail for long, for wanting, for longing while you're looking to, uh, to E or to some man to save you from your current plight, you know? I had posted a video um, that I had did a while back. I didn't get a chance to post it, but I posted it yesterday, okay? Basically, in regards to the NAACP, um, you know, promoting, you know, Biden. And one of the things they said was that Biden would end racism. Well, that's a flat out lie. OK, you if you if you think Biden's going to end racism, you're sadly mistaken. And uh, I think I may be running out of storage here. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to just uh, go ahead and finish it out. Hold on. Let me see something. It's a lot. I'm just got to continue the lesson. So, uh, anyway, man, you see, I'm mistaken if you think Biden's gonna end uh, slavery. Okay, that's not what the scriptures say. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely have to uh, make this a quick one. All right, it's a lot. So, okay, like I said, we're waiting on y'all watching y'all shot. Okay, we're having faith in him. Curse be the man that that trusted in man and that makes flesh his arm. Okay. And you people trust in this system, man, of America, Babylon, the Greek, to save you. And it can't do anything for you. Okay? Curse be the man that trusts in man and make your flesh his arm, man. And you guys trust in oppression and stay there wrong. Okay? Therefore, shall your trust in the shadow of Egypt be your shame and confusion, man. You trust in this place, okay? And you're anxiously, patiently waiting to see, okay, how your future is going to change. And you think... Uh, either for better or worse based on okay um, whether whoever gets elected but the but the cold hard fact is this place is not going to get better okay the scriptures say we would have healed Babylon but she is not healed the most I have not purpose to heal America Babylon the greatest purpose to destroy it because it's one of the most wicked it's the most wicked place on the planet earth and it's going to be destroyed get the next precept Baruch 4 and 21 says be of good cheer on my children Cry unto the Most High, and he will deliver you from the power. 
and hand of the enemies. Okay, let's get to the next one. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from ever from the everlasting our Savior. You see? So that's where our mindset is. That's where our hope is. Not in some, you know, uh, can, uh, presidential candidate or presidential, uh, you know, president elect, whatever you want to call them, man. We're not worried about these guys, man. You know, whoever's the next president ain't going to do nothing but bring on the judgment. And that's what we're waiting on. That's what we're waiting on. Okay. So I would, I want to go a little longer with this lesson, but uh, it's telling me here. That it's gonna upload it to the cloud if I don't if I go too much longer. I got a few minutes. Alright? So so lucky about that. Damn distractions. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna get this next one. Wisdom of Solomon 14. Starting in verse 3 says, But thy providence, O Father, governeth it. For thou hast made a way in the sea and a safe path in the waves. Shewing that thou canst save from all danger, yea, though a man went to sea without art. Okay. And so this is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 14 and 4, that 144. All right. And it says, Showing that thou canst save from all danger, yea, though a man went to sea without art. And so I wanted to know what that word art meant in, in Wisdom of Solomon uh, 14 and 4. So I went ahead and pulled up that word art. Let me just get it here. Okay, that word art. So I, I, I looked up the archaic definition of the word art. It says, a skill acquired by experience, study, or observation. Okay, so that's the art of, you know, the examples given, the art of making friends. Now, when you get down to the archaic, it says a skillful plan. Okay, so though we have not come up with some skillful plan, you know, there really, if you try to sit down and formulate a plan, okay, let's just say you just carnally, you know, tried to sit down and formulate a plan on how to escape, okay, the impending doom here in America, Babylon the Great. You might come up with something that sounds good or whatever, but it's through. You know, there's nothing you can do carnally to escape what's coming upon the planet Earth. Okay, even those who escape certain things ain't really going to get away because you have my Shimei Abba Shai's going to return and he's going to put those who going into captivity, you heathens going into captivity, those are the two-thirds of the house of Israel that would not, they get how should rule over them. They're going to be brought before them and they're going to get slayed. So, I mean, there's really no escape, you see. Though they dig into hell, thus shall I, you know, go find them, meaning those that dig deep underground, the Lord's going to send the elect, okay, to go or snatch them up. Those that go into the top of the mountains and whatever, go into the, go into the space or whatever, on a spaceship or whatever, Okay, the, the the elect is going to go catch them from up there and bring them down and give them judgment. You know, whatever you try to do, man. You know, if you go into the bottom of the ocean, the bad thing going to bite you. There's no escaping. Okay, so we're not putting our hope in, okay, presidents, guns, uh, fallout shelters, bunkers. No. Okay. The scriptures say he did, uh, Okay, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High uh, shall be under the shadow of the Almighty, okay? And the secret place is these scriptures, man, okay? It's a lot. I, just, I was roughly paraphrasing it, but... Okay, this is the only place to be. This is the only place of guaranteed safety here is in this truth, okay? Because, hey, at the end of the day, whether you have to die or be a martyr, you're still going to be the first risen when you have a shy, you see? And Lord willing... We get to see the salvation, okay? And make it onto the chariots, okay? That's the end goal, man, is to make it onto a chariot, man. All this other stuff is just, it's just the, 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 uh, the, the movie playing itself out, you know? The movie playing itself out, all right? So, you know, that's basically the angle I want to take it. You know, everybody's anxious right now, okay? The elect are anxious waiting on judgment to come forth so this thing can be over with, okay? And two-thirds and the rest of the world are anxious, waiting on a new, you know, uh, dream and fallacy of help to uh, to be put in front of them, waiting on that new Nakash, <laughs> that new serpent that they can look to, which ain't got no power to save them, you know? 
Because that's all it is, is witchcraft, man. They tell you that, oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, man, when I heard them say on the news, man, or not on the news, on the radio, that they was going to get rid of racism, man, I laughed out loud, man. There's <laughs> Ain't no racism. They ain't going to get rid of racism, man. You niggas can keep dreaming, man. Okay? Anyway, man, I, I, you know, I don't want to keep rambling on, man. You know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just end it there, you know. That's all I had, but hey, Lord willing, it was edified. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahaha, Kujash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. And hopefully, like with that, I'm going to say Shalom.